Good morning. You're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kim Parr. I'm at Domatex in Hanover, Germany, and I'm with John Rietveld, the CEO of Innovations for Flooring. John, how you doing? I'm uh, very good. And yourself? I'm good. You know, it's interesting. We come to where the world meets for flooring, and a topic that has been of big interest related to click systems for hard surface flooring has been in the news in a big way, and I thought our listeners would like to hear some of the more recent rulings related to intellectual properties around click systems. We'll talk about that. Before we get into that, a little background on you. Before you formed this company, Innovations for Flooring, you actually have been in the business for a long time because you worked with Tarket before that, right? That's correct. I was the president for the residential division. In the past, Tarket was organized through two divisions, commercial and residential, and I was heading up the global division for residential. Uh And Innovations for Flooring, how long has that been in existence? Well, the, the company is since end of 2013. The patent filing has started already in 2009. So you also, like Vilinge and like Unilin, you primarily are in the intellectual property business related to hard surface flooring, right? That is correct. I saw possibilities in terms of improvements on present systems. And that's correct, we're selling technology. And so, recent findings, we have been running these stories. One was in the Netherlands, in The Hague, there was a ruling. Tell us about that one first, if you would. Yeah, there was a verdict. We wanted to make sure people understood the very complex situation around all the patents, long side, short side, pretension. We have found a lot of prior art against one of the most important patents. Actually, the I would say the mother patent of everything where locking started with, when locking became a business on its own, and that was the pretension patent. And we found uh, prior art, uh, materials, but also a lot of documentation, and we went to court. The point is, in Europe, you have a European patent, but you need to go to every European court to nullify a patent. Now, we we don't have a hobby in making court cases, so we wanted just to put one example so that the industry could do the rest. So we went to Den Haag, because basically in Europe there are two professional courts, that's Den Haag and Munich, for European patents. And uh, we were successful. We have nullified the most important patent uh, in the Netherlands, which have been the pretension patent of Unilin. And in recently, uh, we also have run a story this week that you have a decision with the U.S. Customs. They've made a ruling and issued an 18-page document with regard to labeling. So tell us about that. Yeah, we were gaining more and more customers, and since our competitors made everyone believe that you could only import products in the United States with the label of Unilin or Vellinger, we wanted to prove that that was not the case factually. And so we went last year, August, to the customs office, and the central office is in Washington, and we have asked to get a ruling from them for our locking systems on laminated products. So we went through a process with them. They, they buy your products uh, in the store or, and they, uh, they check against the patents where the previous rulings uh, were made for. And uh, yeah, we were very excited because we received the week before Domotex, uh, so good timing, <laughs> the final outcome. And so we all re- received an official document uh, from the Office of uh, Homeland Security that they can import products with triple lock and click for you freely. Okay. So explain what that means now. There's been this belief that you had to have these stickers to bring these products in the United States. And, and does it affect all types of hard surface flooring or just certain types of hard surface flooring? Yeah, that's a very good question, Kemp. It's, uh, it's also maybe not a very short answer. I mean, they have been made a ruling uh, in the past for laminate, and that was for Chinese exporters to the United States. Uh, when you get a ruling, this is the same for us, customs ask you to define a process, a procedure, that they can check and control at the border those boxes. And so a label was introduced for those products. And I think they thought it was a good idea to copy that to all product uh, materials. But you don't need that. There's no official rule that you need those labels on other products. And so they made people believe that you needed that. And retailers believed that you needed that, but you didn't need that. So the answer here is that against the ruling which they had to put labels, we are free. That means at the same time that we also need to define a procedure for our products. We have like a document they will receive if they become a a licensee from us, which they can show to customs, plus uh, some text on the box where we need to give an okay for, and then they can easily import the product. So basically, yeah, it's for locking for all product materials. 
but the original case came from laminate、mm-hmm. at that time because there were a lot of Chinese manufacturers exporting products without maybe not paying a fee、uh, at that time. So they they said we cannot have that, which I think is correct. I mean, people need to pay for the intellectual property they use in general.、Mm-hmm. And then、uh, this label system came, and this label system became a business on its own. And there, we really wanted to peel the onion that you don't need to, and that there are, you know, other ways to go to the United States with your products. And but in any case, our licensees can import in the U.S.、Uh, our products with our locking. Okay, so、uh, if I'm hearing you right, the L- LVT. WPC rigid core. The protection that Unilin has that, and Vilinge is more related to laminate. So this opens up the products that were coming in that are non-laminate. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. And for laminate, obviously, with our system because we have the、right. ruling、uh, for laminate.、Yeah. But you don't need stickers. In all occasions, you always need to deal with patents in a country, and there are hundreds of patents.、Yeah. So you always need to look what kind of products, what kind of material composition, what kind of width, what kind of thicknesses. But it has nothing to do with the labels. It has to do with the normal patent situation. All right. So the next question I have for you: There's also been news recently about a partnership that you've got with Clawson. Yeah.、Uh, tell us what that means. Yeah, we thought since it is、uh, for us more and more important to broaden our scope, our owners, investors, they really believe in the business of innovations for flooring. So they have given me a、uh, approval to、uh, to go and do some acquisitions and make the company bigger. And I thought the best partner for us going forward was Klassen Group because Klassen Group has very interesting patent portfolio. But furthermore, they develop a lot of new. Patents all the time, and it's always good to have the capacity of new patent development、uh, very close to you. So we took a partnership, and we、uh, we took a substantial share. I can unfortunately not disclose because of the agreement I have with them our share, but、uh, we we took an important share in Klassen Intellectual Property, and I become one of the managing directors of Klassen. Okay. So this increases the number of patents that you own. That's correct, and in any case, going forward, because we have recently filed some other products, material-wise,、uh, but also quite broadly on on the flooring, because yeah, we want to make a bigger portfolio, become better part. For our licensees, and this development together with Cluster fits 100% in that strategy. All right, so John, you've been very busy, and you've had a lot of things come your way on some of these decisions. If someone's listening to this and wants some clarity around exactly what this means to per- perhaps products that they're importing,、uh, where can they go to get some unbiased? Advice on whether or not their product requires certain labeling. Yeah, well, we are very happy to help the industry, which we have done over the last couple of years.、Uh, so they can always email me. So it's very easy. Easy email address is John J O H N at innovationsforflooring dot com, and I will answer all the questions. Yeah. Okay, John. It's great to talk to you again. We're talking to John Rietveld, the CEO with Innovations for Flooring, and you've been listening to Kemp Har and FloorDaily dot net.